Good morning guys. I hope you are all doing well. This is week, I don't even know what, fourth, fifth week of self-isolation. And this weekend, since we can't go out, I thought I would finally tackle some of the organization items that have been outstanding for a while for me here at home. There's so many things that I need to do, but I pulled you guys on Instagram and you guys said you would be interested in a closet organization slash declutter. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I have plenty of things on my to-do list. So if you enjoy watching me obsessively uh, organize, let me know down below and I'd be happy to do more of these. Um, the reason I haven't filmed them before is I just, I don't know if you, if you guys are curious in it, but I am kind of really into organization. Um, so I'm happy to share my tips with making the most of small spaces with you guys, stuff like that. Today I'm gonna be mainly focusing on storage solutions and decluttering to make the most of my small closet spaces. And if I have time later, I might even show you guys what I've been working on in the kitchen. I've been regrowing food scraps, which is so damn easy to do and it's basically like getting double the amount of produce. So if I have time later, I'll show you guys what I've been experimenting with, um, with like green onions and, and lettuce and I've also started sprouting herbs. So I might show you guys a little bit of that towards the end of the video, just in case any of you are curious and you're also stuck at home and you wanna try out some of this um, easy gardening tips, which also save you money. I have no idea how this will go. Let's jump into it. This is probably my first time showing this. <laughs> this is my closet. Um, let me just get the light for you guys. Oh, it was already on, Never mind. Also, this is my chandelier. Doesn't give off a lot of light, but that's okay. Uh, this is my office slash beauty room closet as it currently stands. You can see I definitely have a lot of shoes and handbags in here, but I'm also using it for filming storage and for general office supply storage. I mean, it's, it's definitely a mess in here. Like I just have stuff just laying around that should go into boxes. And you'll notice I even have some designer leather goods from uh, before I went <laughs> vegan. I did buy all of these secondhand. These are not firsthand leather purchases, but I basically never use these items. Like look at this vintage Prada bag. This is actually a gorgeous, gorgeous bag that really, oh, I've got somebody should get some use out of. I'm thinking about selling some of my designer items. So if you are interested in, say, this beautiful vintage Prada bag, it's a red suede with navy accents, gorgeous. Let me get the lights so you guys can see a little better. I really should have gotten more use out of it, um, but I just frankly don't use it anymore. And I feel like it could go to a better home. So if you are curious in say the Prada, I also have a vintage Louis Vuitton there at the top. Um, these are Dolce & Gabbana. Let's see here, I've got some Gucci Valentinos. I'm definitely selling the Valentinos. Um, I have enough shoes that are equivalent to those. Um, what else do I have in here that I, I want to declutter? Oh, I have another vintage Gucci bag. Let me move this, oh my goodness, out of the way. This beautiful vintage like canvas and leather Gucci bag. This is more one of those unassuming Gucci handbags. It doesn't have a billion logos all over it, but let me, let me show you this one too really quickly. This is what the Gucci handbag looks like on. You can wear it crossbody or over the shoulder. I actually loved this bag, primarily made of canvas. It's got that accordion style on the inside. I mean, I hardly used this bag or the Prada. These items have been sitting in my closet for six years, eight years. I'm not even sure. So it's actually like a complete shame that I'm not using these designer items. So if you think you might be interested in any of those ones that I just mentioned, just drop it in the comment section below and I might add them to my Depop and um, yeah, you guys can pick them up and give them a second life um, unlike I am right now. I also have some Alexander McQueen's 
over here. For sentimental reasons, I won't be getting rid of these even though they are leather. Back when I worked in the fashion industry, this was the first designer item that I ever bought. Obviously I was a student um, and had no money. So I got them deeply discounted at like Saks or Nordstrom or something like that. That's the one item that I don't think I'm ready to part with just because, yeah, it reminds me of, you know, my time in the fashion industry. Um, but absolutely any of the other items that I mentioned. If you guys think you could give them a better home, love to ship them off to you. As I mentioned, you know, I am vegan, so I've been trying to replace my leather items with vegan alternatives. So this is an ethical vegan handbag made by Stella McCartney. This is one of their Falabella box bags. I absolutely love this one. I love having it front and center so that, you know, it catches the eye right when you walk in, but there's just so much other stuff going on that I feel, oh my God, look at, I got all the stuff up here. I need to really reorganize this just so that my items, you know, have the space and the display that they deserve. So if we go over here, I actually have, I can't believe I'm showing this on the internet. Um, I have our walk-in closet, which is pretty small, um, you know, but we make do. Um, Dushan's stuff is on this side. Hopefully he doesn't mind me showing it. And then my stuff is on this side. Um, it's kind of a big mess because I have overflow office stuff here, gifts. I've got like my travel minis and like a steamer and like swimsuits and donation clothing over here in the corner. Um, but if you ignore everything on the bottom, it's somewhat organized. So I'm hoping that I can make better use of this space up here. It's kind of dead space. I might even be able to sneak. Yeah, might even be able to sneak some stuff up here on Dushan's side. Oh my God, even if we go over here, I have more shoes. These are um, some ethical made in Italy vegan luxury shoes by Taylor and Thomas. These boots have incredible attention to detail, high craftsmanship. I haven't had a chance to wear these out yet though because of quarantine. I also got some stuff laying on the bed here. I have a bunch of um, hooks that thankfully I ordered before uh, quarantine began. I don't know, there's a hair there. Um, so these I might be hanging up on the back of my closet door, my bedroom closet door. And then I have these nicer brass hooks that I ordered from CB2 also before the quarantine started. So I wanna hang these probably on the back of our bedroom door, just so I have a place for my like bathrobes and stuff and like, I don't even wanna talk about what's going on over there. We've got like a vintage wiffle ball bat, <laughs> pillows, extra linens, um, all my skincare, uh, bags of lingerie for some reason, they're just hanging out there. So I've got my work cut out for me, um, but that's what I would love to tackle today. So I'm gonna set you guys down and I hope you enjoy this time-lapse. So this is the current situation. I actually took the opportunity to clean out the shelves, especially the glass ones. They were dustier than I thought they would be. So I figure 
clean slate might be a little easier to work with. I'm also gonna ask Dushan if I can do something to move these a little closer together so this gap gets closed. Might make it look a little nicer. These are Ikea, by the way. This is already um, taking over my office, but I think it's definitely worthwhile. I cleaned out the shelves, you know, actually gave them a proper wipe down. Um, you can see just the amount of shoes I have. And then if we go over here, even more shoes. So I realized all my summer shoes were still in storage. Um, a bunch of high heels that I haven't been wearing. I also found like a few cute bags that I forgot I had. So already this has been very worthwhile. I also didn't mention earlier these beautiful Stella McCartney luxury vegan mules made in Italy. These unfortunately do not fit me. I absolutely love these. I'll post a photo of uh, what they look like on. They are gorgeous and minimalist, but my feet are too fat <laughs> to wear them, which is kind of heartbreaking. But if you might be interested in these beautiful mules, comment down below and I'll add them to my Depop. I also cleared out the very top shelf and Dushan was able to move these units a little closer together for me. So let's start putting things back in. progress that I've made. I step back a bit. That is so much cleaner. So I've only put in the shoes and bags that I know I wear regularly. I put my uh, Vera pumps front and center because I reach for these all the time as well as these rose gold flats. So I've tried to keep my summery sandals over here. All of my clutches are at the top including this over the shoulder Stella McCartney um, bag with the tassel. You guys have seen this in all of my photos from the winter. I wear this nonstop. I still have the Louis Vuitton back here just as a bit of a, you know, eye candy. Of course, my uh, Stella McCartney. My mat and mat handbag is front and center because I do grab it a lot, especially, um, you know, for day-to-day -day stuff. I love small satchels. This one fits really nicely just in my hand like so. I wear this a lot and it's also super durable. Matches well with all my nudes. Over here I have my Taylor and Thomas, excuse me, ethical luxury vegan shoes as well as my beautiful Alexandra K satchel. You guys probably saw my video on this already but if you haven't, I will link to it down below. I finally have some room for flats <laughs> in my closet, which is great. Um, these are from Gunness, New York. I bought them a while ago. These here are Stella McCartney faux snake skin loafers handmade in Italy. I've got some statement shoes going on over here, including these beautiful Cult of Coquette backless mules. I wore these on my wedding day. They're absolutely stunning. Love those shoes. Would love to get some more wear out of them. It would be nice if I could keep this stool here so that I could step up easily because I'm quite short, but sadly it won't fit in there um, with the door closed. I also have to find a spot for my ring light. And then these leftover shoes, I'm gonna store for the winter, I think. And, um, these are the shoes I'm for sure selling. We have the cobalt blue Stella McCartney's. We have Dolce & Gabbana slingbacks and then Valentino rock studs. The Dolce & Gabbana and Valentino's were secondhand when I purchased them, but the Stella McCartney's are almost brand new. So yeah, if any of you guys are interested, 
let me know and they can be yours. <laughs> and then I have all these empty boxes I can use for storage. What I'm hoping to do is get them up on the top shelf of my uh, walk-in closet. So we'll see how that goes. You won't believe what I found when I was going through those boxes. I totally forgot I have these. These pumps are amazing. They have this see-through lucite heel and they are by Cretacure, which is a vegan shoe company. I don't believe they're in business anymore, but these pumps are absolutely amazing. They are unfortunately a little big for me, so if you think you might be interested in these beautiful vegan pumps from New York, let me know in the comments section and I can add them to my Depop. I guess it would help if I told you guys what size these are. These are seven and a half on the shoe, but honestly, I normally wear a seven and a half and these fit more like an eight for sure. These do not feel like an authentic seven and a half at all. So if you are a size eight, maybe eight and a half, or if you're a seven and a half with really wide feet, these could fit you. They also come with replacement, um, what are these called? Base of heel replacements, I forgot what they're called. Um, but yeah, these are great quality vegan shoes and they definitely make a statement. I <laughs> am so hesitant to part with them because they're so beautiful, but I, they're just too big for me. My feet fall out when I'm walking in them. So hopefully these can go to a new home. This, I just found a pair of shoes that I've actually never worn. These are by uh, Dolce Vita, an excellent shoe brand. Um, I think the reason I never wore these is because when I got them, I realized that they were actually leather and I thought that they weren't. I believe these were also a little big for me if I remember correctly. I think my feet are too short and too chubby for most shoes. But let's see here. This is a size size 8. Never worn these. Oh, it even says leather there on the outside. Um found even more shoes that I've hardly worn. Evidently, I used to do this thing where I would always buy a size 8. So these are super super comfy. They are leather, again, another reason I probably stopped wearing them, but they're also too big for me. These are by BCBG, super comfy, make your legs look incredible. I would almost keep those if they fit me. These are beautiful pumps. Um, these are from Club Monaco. They have a bondage style um, elastic wrapping on them. And I believe, I think, these are 37s. So these are going to fit like a seven and a half. And I just don't find them too flattering. I have really fat ankles. <laughs> so this just kind of squeezes me, squeezes everything in an unflattering way. But these would be gorgeous on if you have nice slender ankles and like nice feet. These would look beautiful on you. Same thing. If you guys are interested in any of these, let me know. I'll add them to my Depop for a good price for you. Okay. So, making some progress. Everything to the right is off season or too summery for now. And then everything up here is resale that can hopefully go to a new home. One other thing I would like to do is, you see the back of this closet? I'd like to put some hooks on the back of it, either for um, an organizational rack or just to hang items. I'm like out of breath. Oh my God, this is a lot more. A lot more draining than I thought it would be. Also, I found this cute wicker basket while I was cleaning, which is a nice bonus. The next thing I'm gonna tackle is hanging these pretty brass hooks on the back of my bedroom door. Also changed into pants because it's still chilly. That's how spring is here in Canada. Um, and I'll show you guys just what I did. I used a tape measure and I measured halfway between these um, decorative uh, rectangles and then roughly halfway down the space. I'm going to align these hooks right with the marks that I've made. Oops. And then I'm gonna draw some um, little pluses inside the hole so Dushan knows where to drill. <laughs> big tote bags there, all my summer sandals, 
my shoes, my neutrals that I reach for all the time, including these Vera shoes that I wear all the time. They're so comfortable. They have these pressure point pads inside, ethically, sustainably made, and they are vegan. I don't know if you can hear the Canadian geese squawking in the background, but giving you guys a full authentic Canadian experience. <laughs> and of course, they've got my Stella McCartney on display over here. Um, at the very top, I know it's a little dark, I have a bag from Melly Bianco, which they sent me. My work tote from Angela Roy. They don't make this model anymore, but I still use this bag a lot. And at the very top, oh, it's kind of dark. Um, I have a beautiful tote bag that was gifted to me by the 108, which is a Toronto-based vegan handbag line. They are a great company because they work uh, directly with animal conservatory groups in Kenya. So great brand to check out if you like working with companies like that. And then of course I have all my clutches up here. I have a vintage, uh, vintage Gucci clutch that believe it or not, my first boss, Sari, gave me. It's back when I used to work more on marketing and branding. She gave me that. And then this, this is super cool. This is, <laughs> I don't even like know how to describe this exactly. It feels like a dinosaur egg. I picked this clutch up at a vintage shop like years and years and years ago. Back when I was a student, um, there's something about it that I love. It almost feels like handmade, but yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe you guys will hate this and think it's hideous, but I think it is so cool. And I actually found that while I was decluttering. I haven't seen that since I, I've moved. So it was great to rediscover that. Um, what else is going on? We go over here. I have this sneaky little setup where I installed one of those um, sticky mounting hooks. This one is cute because it's got like a little faux crystal knob, but I'm hanging uh, my Stella McCartney um, chain bag off of that just so it doesn't lose its shape. You can see the tassel's got a little bent out of shape from how I was previously storing it. And then I uh, have another IE Toronto Soul vegan handbag over here with these cute circle handles. This one's adorable. I like to wear it with um, like a scarf tied around the handle. So I have that guy there so they keep their shape a little better. Um, I might tidy up some of this office stuff a little better if I can. Uh, oh, this is funny. I've never actually bought a knockoff in my life but this is, I got this back when I was a student too. Um, this is a knockoff Alexander McQueen clutch and then these outrageous heels that I like to wear when I'm in South Beach, Miami. Um, what else is in here? My rose gold flats that I've worn almost to death. I have a backup of these in my other closet because I don't think I could live without them. They make my little short chubby legs just look so long and elegant. So I love those. I also love these are Zara, but um, I love these um, kitten heel sling backs um, by them as well. Just love that color. And then this bag. This is by, oh my gosh, what are they called? HFS from California. Anyway, these handbags are perfect for summer. Excuse me. There's a rattan finish and any of these, um, what appears to be suede details on it, like the shoulder strap, which I have tucked in, are actually made from recycled plastic water bottles, which is super cool. Also these mules here are super old. Um, I've actually been into mules basically like since I've been wearing heels, like since a teenager. Um, these are old mules. You definitely can't find these anymore, but I love that retro feel with the wood platform. I haven't had a chance to wear those lately. So having space in the closet now will definitely mean I'm probably more likely to wear them. And yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out actually. It's so nice that I can just walk in and be like, oh, pick whatever I'd like. Okay, so I have a bunch of items over here. I have like cutting board, metal ruler for cutting. I actually use these pretty frequently, um, believe it or not. Got some random stuff um, that I need to figure out where to put. A few uh, face masks. Uh, this one's herbivore. This one's by Wild Mint. And this one is by Kypris. Oh, this is one of my favorite masks. I'm totally out of it now. You know where I can put these actually? These can live over here with the other face masks and toners.
while we're here, <laughs> um, I haven't mentioned to you guys these toners from, how do you pronounce this? Kaylin Hardwell? Kaylin Hardwell. Anyway, I love the invigorating peppermint toner. This is great when my skin is freaking out uh, from acne. This tea tree one from Aromatica is really nice too. Yes? I need a screw. They're all, they're all in the- Well, you have one in your hand. I don't know where that one is. <laughs> they're on the bedside table. No, they're not all there. Remember you had two, like you, you put one somewhere. Okay, let me look. Oh, it's in my f***ing hand. Yeah, so- I'm an idiot, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like holding it the whole time. I didn't even realize. Wow, that looks great. Oh my God. So good. Hey guys, so Dushan has volunteered to continue drilling, which is great because these rubberized hooks that I showed you before, I wanna actually mount this little, this little metal wire basket underneath my desk, like under here. So I can actually feed like my uh, extension cables and all my wires. It'll just sit under here and like no one will be able to see it. I have no idea if this is gonna work. This is either genius or Really stupid. Let's find out together what happens. <laughs> so Dushan's thinking that maybe if we unscrew these metal parts, I can actually feed the wire basket um, arms through between the top layer of my desk and the metal layer of my desk. I don't know if that will actually work out, but it's worth, it's worth a shot. So we just need to unscrew, I guess, these three things. Okay. And if this doesn't work, I, I guess it's no harm really. Dude, this looks awesome. This is perfect. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is all these wires over meow, I'm gonna put in meow. Alrighty, so that's what this situation currently looks like. I have um, a solid state drive as well as my monitor that is plugged in here and I'm gonna wrangle in these loose cords with um, <laughs> some twist ties and uh, I don't even know what these are called. These are usually like on uh, bread to tie it off. Make sure you save these. These can be used all the time for wrangling stray wires. I might find something nicer um, once we get out of quarantine but this will do for now. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with this. So not only did I wrangle all my cords, but now I also have extra storage space because you can see I like to keep my desk nice and tidy. I have space under here for my laptop charger and then I always have a pad of paper and pen with me because I make lists to no end. <laughs> so this is the pad of paper that I use to hold my endless to-do list, both for work and at home. So I like having this on hand, but I don't always want it, you know, on my desk, so this really clears things up. That was definitely a great organization project. <sighs> okay, so next, I just need to find homes for these boxes. I don't wanna toss them out because I like to keep the packaging for expensive things that I've bought. Um, I need to find a home for the extra skin and hair care in those bags, these filming equipment, pieces, some odds and ends. And in the midst of all this chaos, my orchid is reblooming, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, let me try to find a home for all this stuff. Thankfully, I have lots of space here for my skincare. I was able to stash a few items there. And then if you come with me to my linen closet, which is somewhat organized, I realized I have some space here to work with. I just put some of our laundry items over here in this basket. And then that gave me some room here in the linen closet. And I'm just gonna take um, these items here. These were hand delivered from Diana. She runs the Holistic uh, Hair Salon here in Toronto. She just opened her e-shop. So those of you who like shopping for things like Innersense, but she's also one of the few people, excuse this plastic shopping bag. She's one of the few people who sells uh, organic color systems in Toronto. This mask, will change your hair, I guarantee it. Um, you know that I color treat my hair. This is almost like Olaplex, but made from plant material, and it really, really works. It makes my hair feel like silk. So let me just, oh my God. <laughs> oh, did it. <laughs> just pop these guys here. 
I might take uh, all of the uh, face cleaners and toners that I have in that bag out. Um, I was lucky enough to be a panelist at the Pure Picks Green Beauty Awards. Yeah, I think that's what they're called. I really should know. Um, but they sent me a whole bunch of skincare items to review and uh, pick winners for. So I'm not gonna go through all that right now because this video will be a billion years long. <laughs> but um, yeah, things are starting to come together here. I guess I forgot to show you guys, but the hooks on the back of our bedroom door are to hang um, my robes. So that looks perfect. And what's nice is when the doors open, which is most of the time, you don't even know that they're hanging there, which is great. What are you doing? Huh? You've been so quiet the whole day. Your little bread loaf. Oh, she might want some popcorn. So I popped some popcorn, seasoned it. I'm just gonna like hang out for a bit. Okay guys, I'm gonna take a break from the organizing. I'm all organized out, I'm done. I'm tapping out for the day. And once I'm done this, I'm gonna go tend to my garden and show you um, what's popping up there. Oh, popping, popping up there. I didn't mean to do that, that was accidental. I did tell you guys I would show you what I've been growing. Also, I gave myself a manicure chubby fingers looking more polished now. Um, over here we have some lavender sprouting. They didn't like the water I gave them earlier. They all <laughs> a little fallen over there, a little droopy. This is a mix of different herbs. We have uh, oregano, thyme, rosemary. Put these cute little labels on them. Not just for decoration, but because my memory is awful and I didn't want to forget what I put in there. I have these guys sitting outside. So in these pots, I have tomatoes, um, cilantro, and different types of lettuce growing. I'm gonna take them inside. I had left them outside to uh, get a bit of sun, but it's getting kind of chilly. You can just barely see um, a few sprouts coming up. This is gonna be uh, butter crunch lettuce. And these I'm all growing from seeds. So here we have the cilantro. Nothing coming up there yet, but let me show you something else. Now, I've never tried this before. A little experimentation with a shallot. Um, that guy might not be doing so well, but over here, I'm successfully regrowing green onion. So what's cool about uh, regrowing food scraps is you basically pay for the produce once and you get it twice, maybe even more. It's my first time trying it out, so I don't know what will happen yet, but these guys um, are growing really well. Basically, I just cut off the wide end, kept the roots, planted them in some soil, and, and that's it, watering them. I started regrowing. And then if we go, over here, we have two types of lettuce. This guy is thriving, it's living its best life. This one is also regrowing. And then this was an onion that started spouting and now, now it's dying, it looks like. So I'm gonna dig that up and put something else in uh, tomorrow. As you guys who follow me on Instagram, probably know, or potentially if you've read my blog, Dushan and I both do self-care Sunday, and it's Sunday, so we're gonna get ready for that. Usually we pour a glass of wine or sake, and then we do face masks and exfoliate, and just chill out, since we both, we both work a lot. So it's nice to have that dedicated time to just catch up, you know, and spend time together um, as a couple. I don't know what I'm going to use as a mask this evening, but I might use May Lindstrom's Problem Solver. Sorry if I'm out of focus. Who wants to focus on my liquor in the background instead of me? <laughs> um, might use some May Lindstrom. Uh, we'll see, I definitely have some breakouts along my jawline that I would love to address. So I'll, I'll give you guys a quick peek at uh, what we're gonna be doing for Self Care Sunday. Also, look at this. Another orchid that's re blooming. This one's beautiful. I feel like I'm becoming a genuine plant master with the green thumb. Are you ready for yoga? Mm -hmm. So this is the point where I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys.